my name's Kevin Segge. Uh, I'm the CEO of a company called AdLive. With me, I have Ted Kozak, our CTO. And down on the floor there, we have uh, Mark Hadfield, our CRO. Uh, so at AdLive, we allow uh, developers to easily put video and voice into their application. Uh, we've been working on this project. Uh, we started, actually, when WebRTC started uh, a couple of years ago. Um, and we, we launched AdLive in May. So our product is APIs and SDKs. Uh, we don't, uh, you know, we, we don't sell to directly to public. We deal with developers. Um, and there are three key customer needs that we meet through our APIs. The first is quality of service. And if you're listening to the panel before, um, everybody's talking there about quality of service. What we do is we constantly monitor certain uh, metrics and optimize the video feed uh, for each endpoint. Uh, we also offer firewall traversal. We cross-platform, so we're on the web. Uh, that's uh, web RTC browsers and non-web RTC browsers, desktop uh, and mobile. We've got an iOS and uh, Android SDK too. And the third thing that everybody wanted from us, uh, the developer community, was the ease of integration. So what do we offer with WebRT with WebRTC? What we, what we aim to do is give you tomorrow's technology today. So everybody here is talking about WebRTC, talking about interoperability, talking about all these uh, enterprise um, problems that you have. How do you support multi-party? Um, all these kinds of things. What we aim to do is be able to give you this, that technology right now. Um, so we support uh, WebRTC uh, uh, clients, uh, browsers, as well as non-WebRTC browsers. Um, so if, uh, if somebody was on a non-WebRTC browser, they would install a plugin. Uh, we have support for native applications, uh, like I mentioned before, and we offer these enterprise features, um, multi-party screen sharing, firewall traversal, or, uh, all of that. Um, we're all about developers. This is where I was going to do my Steve Bulmer impersonation. Um, we have an established and growing developer community. Um, those of them, uh, a few of them listed on the right-hand side there. Uh, importantly, we are led by our developers. So our entire roadmap is, has been determined by our developers. Um, we've been asked for things like uh, raw access to video feeds so that they can do face tracking or movement tracking. We've got one of our clients as well. Uh, they do uh, fitness training. Um, and we feel tested. Uh, we've, like I said, we only launched a few months ago, uh, but we're already doing hundreds of thousands of minutes a month. Um, and we're growing at 50% a month. Uh, we've got a lot, a lot in the pipeline. Uh, with that, um, I'm going to hand you over to Ted. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm here to show you how powerful set of APIs is now offered by the AdLive. Let me start from showing you how good we are at the multi-party. You know, you may say, uh, what's the big deal, multi-party? Everyone, everyone can do it. But uh, I bet there are loads of people out, out here who try to create a conference room with just a mesh mode using row WebRTC and see how difficult it is to scale. So to, uh, to show how good actually we are, I've allowed myself to invite a few of my friends and two computers out there. As you can see, uh, we are providing multiple feeds with adaptation to provide the perfect experience for everyone. We constantly monitor features like uh, CPU use, like round trip time, like queuing delay, obviously loss to make sure that everyone gets as good quality as the endpoint can provide. Whether it's a 3G connection, whether it's a phone, whether it's T1 connected desktop application. Uh, to show you this, I would like to ask Michael to squeeze a bit his bitrate just to uh, show how the adaptation algorithms works. Uh, by squeezing this bitrate, I uh, ask Michael to reduce his uh, uplink to simulate the 3G connection, he will just reduce the bitrate to about 140 kilobits per second. I think so. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to pull up the stats? Yeah. So as you can see, uh, for Michael, the quality just was reduced. But it does not affect the overall quality, because we know that the audio is the most important, thing, most important factor in providing good quality conference. In the end, uh, we still can maintain the conference. 
Additionally, at AdLife, as uh, Kavan already mentioned, we do believe that there is also a world outside of the web. That's why we offer also support for native SDK, which I want to, would like to show you. Guys, I'm leaving here. So what Ted is uh, demonstrating here is a native um, Windows application. And we've actually had a lot of uh, re requests for uh, native desktop applications. Um, I think it's because of the presence. Uh, you know, if something's installed on your desktop, although it's, you know, everybody's going mobile, 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 uh, with the enterprise collaboration tools, uh, having that presence, that continual presence, uh, is very important. So this is Michael on our beautiful desktop application. In spite of the uh, native desktop application, we also do provide mobile SDK that allows you to create audio applications at the moment with video coming early next year. Uh, we have uh, three... Um, uh, to summarize, it's a quality of service. Uh, that's what we're about. We're about ensuring quality of service and uh, it doesn't matter what the bandwidth is or your CPU usage, we'll adapt uh, the video feed to make sure the audio is preserved. Uh, we cross-platform uh, and we're all about developers. Um, if uh, we are, Mark uh, uh, kindly got us an iPad, uh, so we've got an iPad mini uh, up for grabs. Um, so just visit us at our booth, it's the slightly colorful one on the right. Um, and uh, yeah, give us a try, uh, adlive.com. Uh, you can re request an API key and you can start working right away. Thank you.